hello you beautiful people um it's been a while since i've put my camera up because me and my flatmate slash one of my best friends chloe went to a cabin in the middle of nowhere and that sounds when i say it like when i've told people what i've been up to the last couple of days they've been like what the fuck and then i show them the pictures and then they understand so basically me and chloe went on a little retreat we went to this cabin which was incredible i will show you in a second literally had no idea where i was going i just got sent coordinates and it was literally in a field in the middle of rural hertfordshire i've never been to hertfordshire before um so it was so nice to like explore a new area of england that i've never been to before but basically this company's concept is called unplugged i got invited there they literally said like you can give it coverage you can not give it coverage like you don't have to you do what you want but because it was so good like i want to tell you guys about it because i think it's such a good idea i think it's sad the fact that places like this have to exist however it was just such an incredible escape i think Ever since I've moved to London, I've felt the pressure of the whole city on me. Oh my God, that sounds so dramatic. Um, but obviously living in London, you'll understand if you do, it like the energy is just, it's just a lot. And there's a constant like kind of go, 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 go. And you know, you you can do your meditation you can do your yoga but at the end of the day that underlying kind of i don't even know how to describe it is there so we went for is it three nights basically the concept is that you lock your phone in a box and all you do for the three days is play scrabble read explore like the local area and eat food and the power in bringing life back to simplicities was just so incredible like i can't even tell you before i went away i was having a massive massive dip in my mental health i i relapsed massively if i'm honest alcohol has a lot to do with it um so i'm attempting to do sober october without or is it stop people tell me it's called stoptober but i don't know so i'm attempting to do that and if i drink i drink but basically just before this i was drinking a lot it was affecting my mood i was not getting things done because i was constantly on my phone scrolling things were just a bit of a mess so i feel like i needed that time to go away and just switch off and be without my phone basically they give you a polaroid camera they give you a nokia phone in case of emergencies and they give you a compass and a map i'm going to do a little montage of our time there because i did take this camera because i wanted to still capture photos without being on my phone so i didn't vlog like i didn't talk to the camera i just i just filmed when i wanted to film i feel like a lot of the time as well i feel obligated to film stuff and show stuff on my instagram and on my youtube and it's become a chore i want to i honestly feel like this thing has changed my mindset so much i was only there for like a couple of days but basically i just want to create for the sake of creating instead of thinking about it too much instead of thinking oh this will look good for instagram or, oh this will blah, blah, blah. and i'll leave a link um, because they've got loads of cabins like all over the place. I think our one that we went to was brand new um, But they had thought of everything. There's been so much thought put into the design of the cabin and we literally like God, I'm literally gonna tear up. We literally Led at night and looked out of the glass window and looked up at the stars and talked about life And I just think everyone needs to go and do it <laughs>
yeah i also read a couple of books whilst i was there that were there at the cabin um i didn't finish them but one of them in particular i think it was called like something like switch off pause i'll put the title on the screen when i can remember um but i'm gonna order that and read the rest of it because it just completely blew my mind into just this culture that we live in of work 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 hustle 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 all the time when in actual fact there's so much evidence to show that overworking is bad for productivity in actual fact it said in the book i think it was like a six hour day is the optimal um working day which i'm now implementing into my life i feel like i came back and i'm like implementing everything or my whole mental shift into my life as it is because i wasn't happy and that was a lot to do with my own head and i just feel like i don't know that i just got that much needed like being able to switch off mind shift hopefully like this carries on because i was just a bit stuck i was just a bit in a rut like i felt like i was just doing the same thing not like leveling up it's definitely given me inspiration for future videos as well in terms of like productivity and just like don't know just your brain mental health working all of that stuff so let me know in the comments if that would be of interest to you i was planning on making this vlog longer however i kind of after watching it wanted to just keep it to this trip and the lessons that i've learned in the hopes that it encourages you guys to do the same it's just so important to take time to switch off for your mental health don't be like me and wait until things have completely gone to shit anyway i really really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video which will be up on sunday goodbye